You got a bunch of loose threads. Hats fall You got apart. threads, bruh. We need to cut those off. Cut those loose threads. Shoddy merchandise. Yeah, we got. I, was just <laughs> I was wondering whether or not I should joke about that. <laughs> huh? It's because he, he has a what big a head. Kid. And he, he got has a big head. He always it. stretches it. Yeah, it's true. I had it's not because to, like, the big head. Yeah, my... your big muscular skull is just busting the seams. <laughs> You've been working out your head, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Funimation. Well, that looks fun. Why isn't that? People animation. wanted us to, we j briefly the during the Bayonetta show, we talked about I how there's an anime. Yeah. <laughs> it actually looks pretty badass. Is the new knight you promised me ready? Like it or not, it's ready when you are. Uh, yeah. The Elf of Night. Not a bad name, if I say so myself. Sometimes I wonder why Bayonetta didn't start as anime. Yeah, yeah. man. All right, let's dance, baby. Perfect for anime. <laughs> So fun. <laughs> the game we played is fun. It, it really is. It feels weird being on a Nintendo platform exclusively, though. Yeah. Especially when you look at stuff like this. And it makes you wonder why the fuck isn't Bayonetta in Smash Bros? Yeah, really. Classic franchise title. For fuck's sake, Snake has made it there before. The fun's just getting Snake. started. Too much TNA. Uh, but, but this Nintendo, is rated M. But Nintendo's shown that they clearly don't care. What the? This is a spread from uh, an upcoming Playboy. Really? What? Nintendo has officially partnered with Playboy to promote Bayonetta with um. Actually. Yeah. What's her name? Yeah. The joke? No, yeah, legit. Her last name is Anderson. And at first I thought Pamela. it was at first I thought it was. I was like, no wow, way. they have photoshopped the fuck out of this. Yeah. Her first name is Pamela. Her last name is oh, something different. Her last name is Hudson. Hudson. Um anyways, she's legit though. I looked her up. She's legit. She's actually oh, wow. like she's a gamer. gamer. Like she's she's, she's done a ton of cosplay before I think even become or maybe she, I don't know what was first, but the point is she does lots of cosplay. And I seen her in an interview wearing, you know, one of those derpy hats that people wore at PAX that were yeah, green with the little ears ones. on them. Oh God. Oh, those uh, legal, legal yeah, ones. Yeah. She seems like a pretty, like, genuine geek. And um, so that's cool. Uh, on, at, the, at the same time, did you ever think you'd see the day? Nintendo officially no, partnering with Playboy. No, absolutely Game not. In such a it weirdly, sounds like a joke. Like, some of these are really photoshopped, though. Like, that just looks yeah, odd. odd. Like, I think there's nothing wrong with it. No, there was a time where dude. Nintendo, like, was one of the front-running systems when it came to, like, the bleeding-edge games, yeah. like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, totally. Um, but... I just want to hear, like, you know, I want to see Reggie talk about it. Yeah. I want to see an interviewer say, like, can you elaborate a little bit on your uh, partnership with Playboy? And oh, just yes, see for the say, adults who are also the, fans of the, ours. The, yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. see the standard corporate speak. Like, yeah. uh, we're big, big fans of what uh, uh, the quality <laughs> work Playboy's been doing over there and blah, blah, blah. And we saw a clear opportunity to 200. engage the brand and the, the demographic and... Like, I just want to see him talk about it, or try. I want to see 200-year-old Hugh Hefner talking about it. <laughs> he's a sleaze, man. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. So he's the old. greatest sleaze of all time. Oh, because for sure. he has somehow succeeded in making people all over think he wasn't a sleaze. Yeah, yeah people you know, know. Like, he's, he's a classy them. guy. He's just an old man in a smoking jacket. Nothing he's wrong a, with that. He's one of the most successful sleazes of all time. He created a company to be a sleaze professionally. Pretty bad. Good on him. <laughs> yep. All right, we'll be back after this. Stay tuned. <coughs>